running in the rain really quickly, running in the rain really quickly. Uh oh, that could be a snafu. Okay, it's totally fine. It's totally, it's totally fine. Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. And I'm Jared. And we are here at the Swan and Dolphin back with another All Ears Ultimate, Ultimate Challenge. Challenge. She uh, she beat my wife last time, so... Uh, I plan to do the same. Lindsay, you, know, you gotta keep them together. Lindsay sent me, and uh, I'm bringing my superpowers today, so you never know. I am bringing the wayfinding power of Moana, though. Hey. Three, two, one, go! Let's go. Okay, let's okay. go. Gonna flip this paper out and see what's happening board a friendship boat. I love a boat ride. Book Honga from the swan from a swan to a dolphin. Go where two condiments are named. Go to where you can find Disney merch outside of Walt Disney World and pick out something for your opponent. <laughs> Have I been saying condiments? I can't read. I'm sorry. Continent. <laughs> We are heading to the Dolphin Resort. How beautiful is this walkway though? The Swan and Dolphin actually opened in 1990. Um, so she's coming up on a birthday. That's pretty old. That is that is older than me, much older than me. Um, <laughs> but she's still beautiful. She's still here, bringing us lots of joy. Okay, there's a huge giant clamshell right there. There you see her. Sitting there across the way Now she don't got a lot to say But there's something about her Sure you don't know why But you're dying to try You wanna kiss the girl Sing with me now Sha la 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 my own Act that counts Oh, uh, he just got clamshell Okay, okay, fine, fine Giant fountain outside of the Dolphin Resort I have to skip around it four times Here we go I picked the biggest fountain, um, no particular reason. It was just the first one that I saw, so. Okay, I see the swan boats, and it's over here by the dolphin. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one so that she can't. Because, you know, she beat Lindsay last time, and I have to avenge my wife. Dun, dun, dun. Let's do it. Flies in the buttermilk, shoe, fly, shoe. Flies in the buttermilk, shoe, fly, shoe. Flies in the buttermilk, shoe, fly, shoe. Skip you to my loo, my darling. Okay, uh, Fantasia Mini Golf is right here. It's an amazing uh, two golf courses. One is extremely hard, uh, and one is the fairways. And then the Fantasia Gardens is really fun for kids. And it's right over here. I just don't want to lose X's. Ooh, there's construction. I don't think I can walk over this way. <gasps> Uh-oh, that could be a snafu. Cats in the cream jar. My hair, the reason why it looks so good, I stay out of the rain. <laughs> but I need to count 15 dolphins while we're here, and I'm gonna go ahead and count the four that I just spent a lot of time with. <laughs> one, that doesn't look like one, but it is, I promise. Two, see, three, four. I don't think we can see any, but I know that they are around, so we'll be keeping our eyes peeled. Oh, oh. Five. That means there's another one. <laughs> that means there's another one on this side. Because one thing about these resorts, they are symmetrical. Running in the rain really quickly, running in the rain really quickly, running in the rain really quickly. Okay. Can we see it? Can we see it from here? There she is. I'm almost to the swans. And I'm over here by the grotto pool. This pool is really awesome. And if you're ever having dinner at one of these signature restaurants or getting a spa treatment or something, you can actually get two hours of free childcare while you're at dinner. That's what makes this different than a normal Disney resort. This resort 
is next to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, but it's not owned by Walt Disney World. It's a Weston property. Oh, I think I see two more dolphins. I think I see two more dolphins. There's two more here. Seven and eight, right in front of these revolving doors. Okay, here I am. I'm coming up on the swan boats and I have to, oh, oh, that's, that's more swans. So that's one, two swans, three, four, five, six swans. I have to rank all the Magic Kingdom water rides. So uh, first of all, the greatest is Splash Mountain. Can't be beat, greatest water ride at Magic Kingdom. Uh, second, uh, it's a small world, it's a classic. That is a water ride. I'm gonna give that one number two. Number three, I'm gonna give uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean, however you say it. Um, although I prefer the one in Disneyland better. It would have been higher up uh, if we were doing Disneyland. Let's see, what are the other water rides? Uh, the Jungle Cruise, a classic. We'll name that for number four. Another water ride. Ah, I forgot the Liberty Bell Riverboat. And that means it has to be number five because I always forget it. I haven't ridden that in years. I need to ride that one next for sure. Okay, I think that's the square. And obviously you can rent these amazing boats. It's right here on this beautiful beach right by the dolphin actually. They're swan boats by the dolphin. But um, you can rent these. It's closed right now. But it's a beautiful little afternoon activity, especially on an overcast day like this, because it gets hot out here. So I just counted those two dolphins. This door is really heavy. Okay. <laughs> I just counted two dolphins, and here are two more. So that makes, um, see, I had eight, so nine and ten. <laughs> and eleven and twelve. And like I said, one thing about these resorts is that they are symmetrical. So. 13, 14, 15, 16 for fun. Oh, here's some more swans. I see some more swans. So that's six swans, seven, eight. Oh, that's a swan to a dolphin. That's a very short way to Conga right there. Nine, 10. Wait, how many did I have? I had six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, we have 10 swans so far. There is a card that says ride the escalator up and down three times each way, which I will be doing, but on our way out of the dolphin. It is very time consuming and I'm trying to be Jared. Here we go. Come on everybody, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any long. Feel the rhythm of the music getting strong. Don't you fight it, you try to do that conga. Beep, bum, 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 do, 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 do. The dolphin is also home to a convention center. It's very, very beautiful. Resort, there's the Mandra Spa. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a clue? Relax by a spa for two minutes? Two whole minutes? All right, you know what? I have a hunch about another clue, so we're gonna check that first. It's the sculpture made of candy. I believe I know where I can find it, so I'm gonna check that first and then come back to the escalators and the relaxing, which just take up so much time here. I love Gloria, Gloria Stefan. I'm doing a conga to the beat. Da, 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 da. We are headed into the fuel, which is where you can get coffee, pastries, sandwiches, and hopefully a candy sculpture, which I believe is right here. But our, it looks so good, I can't even tell if this is made of candy. Is this made of candy? We know. <laughs> okay. It is raining sort of hard now, and it makes me move my feet. There we go. That's from a swan to a dolphin, a conga. That's gotta be a square. Okay, so I have to tell you guys an attraction that I think that they should make for Monsters, Inc. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I definitely would love not to just see an attraction, but an immersive land of Monsters University. I had a great time in college. I think college is super fun. I'd love to see it in the Disney parks. Maybe like we, uh, let's see, we can pledge Uzma Kappa. We can sneak through the library. Um, and let's see, what else? We could ride on the back of Scary Mistress. I, I can't even remember her name, I'm so terrified. Um, but I would love to see any and all of that in the Disney parks. And I did not count these swans. So that's 11, 12 swans. There's another four, where was I? 11, 12, 13, 14. And there's 15, 16. Okay, let's go to the back side of water. Let's just say swans and dolphins don't mind being wet, but I do. I'm, I'm wet. <laughs> so 
So this brew is available at a few different restaurants, all the restaurants here at the Dolphin, not at the Swan. So like we said, exclusive to the Dolphin and you can also buy it in six packs here at Fuel and in a couple other locations around the Dolphin. Okay, here's the sign to Fantasia Mini Golf. I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it. I am going for it. This little path is right here. Construction did not block it. I'm going to mini golf. We are headed back towards these escalators because I want to ride up and down three times each way so I can work towards getting this row and maybe beating Jared pretty quickly. He seems to be, something tells me he's just way too busy. Probably like me skipping around those fountains, but we're gonna take a nice break, give our, break, our, <laughs> give our legs a nice break and ride some escalators. So this is a great event. If you're here for like, if you're here at Disney World for, you know, a week and you're like, I don't want to park day, we want to go to the pool. This is a great thing to do at night when it's cool. And the uh, fairways course is super hard. It's not for kids. There are just little, uh, there's no walls. This construction is the new hotel, the Swan and Dolphin Reserve. Brand new, not even open yet. Doesn't that look beautiful? I can't wait to check that out and it's right here by Fantasia Gardens. Okay, here we are at Fantasia Gardens. I'm gonna call that another square for Jared. Ta-da! I'm walking into the Fountain, which is a restaurant here at the Dolphin, and I'm on the hunt for a couple of things, actually. I need to count five chicken dishes, and I'm looking for desserts that are colors of the rainbow. So as I'm looking at the menu, I see that there is a grasshopper shake, minty chip ice cream, Bailey's cream cacao, and lots of other yummy goodness. But what's important is that that is a dessert named after a insect, an insect, which is something that I'm looking for. Right next to that shake menu is the ice cream menu. And on the ice cream menu, there is minty chip, which is safe to say is green. And I'm gonna choose to count that as my green dessert for searching for desserts that are colors of the rainbow. Because green seems like a very hard dessert color. And I just don't know when we're gonna run across another green dessert. Okay, so here are the pools by the swan. And it's just gorgeous. Look how beautiful this place is. Let's see if they have a chicken dish here. Look at how cool this is. Amazing. Let's look for a chicken dish. There's no chicken dishes here because there's no food. Um, I think that building has food, but I know Melissa's going to hit it. So I'm going to get back over to this hotel. Oh, I found some more dolphins. Oh, I could have congoed right here. Headed across the hallway, not the street, to Todd English Blue Zoo. And I'm going to look really quickly at their menu and see if they have a chicken dish, which they do. Crispy, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, it just turned, but it did say crispy skinned chicken, I think is what that said. There we go, okay. Crispy skinned chicken. And I need to tell you my favorite quick service food and beverage restaurant in each park. I'm gonna start with Magic Kingdom and Pecos because I love cheese. <laughs> oh, also, strawberry angel food cake, which is red, another color of the rainbow. So that's two here, we have to move on. I am here at Kimono's, which is the signature sushi restaurant here at the Swan. I have to name some other Disney sushi restaurants. I'm gonna say the California Grill, which has my favorite sushi at Disney World. I'm also going to say um, Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs, got to. Um, that one's another one. And then, obviously, the best place to get sushi, Tepan Edo in Japan in Epcot. Let's call that a square. Whew, I'm so relieved, and I want some sushi. I am gonna do a color of a dessert, and uh, it looks like mochi ice cream. They have chocolate, vanilla, green tea, red bean, strawberry. What's the rarest of Roy G. Biv? Roy G. I'm gonna do the G for green tea ice cream for dessert. That's one. I think, I think Melissa's gonna get that one. I'm headed back up the escalator, so a seventh escalator ride for fun, because I'm gonna head back up to Shula's and look for another dessert, but I'm also gonna relax by the spa because I never actually did that. Um, I got too excited about escalators. And I'm gonna try to beat Jared here at the Dolphin Resort. Can we do it without leaving? I think so. So do I start with Shula's? 
or do I start with the spa? Let me, you know what, I think I need a second to kind of think through my strategy. So I'm gonna take that and pause here at the spa, relax here at the spa for two minutes. Ah. Ooh, I see giant Mickey ears. I'm gonna take a photo of giant Mickey ears in a hat and send it to Molly. I think I'm gonna wear the Mickey ears. Hot dog, oh boy. I'm gonna send it to Molly and click. Here in the Swan, they have the Disney Planning Center and gifts. Okay, what would Melissa like? She's so stylish. She likes bright colors. She likes, she likes ears, I know. This is like too boring. She's like much more special. Oh, Melissa would wear this with like some, she would tie it, she'd tie it around the waist and then she would like wear some cute leggings with that and some cute ears. Melissa, this is what I'm getting for you. Win and beat Jared. Okay. okay, we're headed over to Shula Steakhouse. I'm gonna take a peek at their menu, like I said, and search for some rainbow colored desserts. First question is where is their menu? <gasps> Miami Dolphins. You know where they are? A football team. You know what that is? That's a clue. I have to impersonate a news announcer while reading football quotes on a wall. Good thing I already kind of sound like one. Here we go. I'll, I'll use this as my microwave. Microwave? 1970, John Shula joins the Miami Dolphins as head coach. I feel if you set a goal to be your best and then you work every waking hour of each day trying to achieve that goal. The ultimate goal is victory, and if you refuse to work as hard as you possibly can towards that aim, or if you do anything that keeps you from achieving that goal, then you are just cheating yourself. I feel that way about athletics, but more importantly, I feel that way about life in general. Coach John Shula. Okay, I found this cupcake. It has like every color on it. So, um, I got green already. Let's say, is violet on there? There is a purple violet. I'm gonna count violet because that's going to be the hardest color to find. So I'm going to use the violet on that cupcake. So I have green and violet. Roy Iv to go out of Roy G. Biv. Okay. 1972, Don Shula coaches the perfect season. From the beginning of the NFL in 1920 to now, this is still the only team to have played a complete perfect season. <laughs> I think there's one more. There is. All right, here we go. I have to stand a little bit far away so I can see them. All right, 1973, Don Shula coaches his second Super Bowl win. He is one of only five coaches in NFL history to win consecutive Super Bowls. <laughs> That's an accomplishment. Like I was afraid of, there's just one left. She could get, if she gets desserts that are the colors of the rainbow, she's won, she's got a line. So I've got to hurry and find some desserts. Okay, it's totally fine, it's totally, <laughs> it's totally fine. We're still, I, I honestly don't know where I am. This feels like kind of a dead end. What, what am I looking for? Okay, this is not looking good. I'm sort of at a loss here. Um, I've run out of restaurants for ingredients for dessert. So I'm gonna go over, um, ooh, there's a friendship boat. Maybe I could board it and unboard it. It just says board the friendship boat. We're taking a full tour of the Dolphin Resort. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. We're on the hunt for rainbow color desserts and for names of continents. I'm kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But these just, how many elevators are here? Is that just more elevators? Okay. okay. They're untying that boat. So I missed that one. I'm gonna move on and come back. Okay, it seems like this is just, <gasps> that says Australia. We are headed in the right direction, guys, because Australia is a continent. A Disney princess from Australia. What the, is there more of these? Okay, if I saw another friendship boat coming, I would go for it, but it's gonna be another 10 minutes, I bet. So let's go in the dolphin. I followed my gut and I kept walking and here's Asia another continent. And I can name a Disney princess who is from Asia, Miss Mulan, AKA woman who saved China. Okay, here we go. Going inside, there is Blue Zoo. 
Okay, Lindsay and I ate here for her 40th birthday. Luckily for this sign telling me where Europe is, <laughs> I do know that there are Disney princesses from Europe. In fact, a lot of them are from Europe. <laughs> okay, why does Europe have to be so far away? Okay, char grilled chicken breast, that's a chicken menu. Europe is another place, another continent. And who is from there? Belle, she's from France. So. Nice to see you I on see. my turf. <laughs> um, I had to come over here because I got everything over there. No, I'm kidding. I really, I really didn't. It doesn't I'm, seem like you've gotten I'm, everything I'm there. I'm scrambling and uh, I'm going the wrong direction because I see what she's up to. She's going to board a boat. I'm in trouble. She's boarding a boat. Okay, we're leaving the Dolphin Resort because I have one more square left to beat Jared. And I just have to get on a boat to do it. So, that's what we're doing. We're headed to the friendship boats. Okay, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is from Galaxy's Edge. That's another one. Now I'm only one away. I'm only one away. Oh, which one's gonna come first? Uh, okay, I guess we'll just get in line at whichever comes first. Either the one headed to Disney's Hollywood Studios or the one headed to Epcot via Yon Beach Club. Okay, here's Shula's. It is a steakhouse, but I bet they have a chicken. Let's see. There is a friendship boat arriving. I'm not sure if you can hear its horn, but I am so excited. I have no idea if this is the one headed to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, but either way, we're getting on it and we're beating Jared. I'm gonna look at this menu. Daily mom, fish, crab cake, sample cake, roasted brick chicken, spinach, mashed potatoes, and cherry jam. <laughs> is, this, is this my winning uh, entrance into the winner's boat, not circle? Oh, ooh, hello. Hi there, what's Yes. Okay. Greg, hold it. <laughs> I could have gotten a chicken dish at Il Molino if I would have had half a brain, but I didn't. I didn't use my brain. Okay, it says there are more restaurants down here. Fresh Mediterranean market. Mediterranean people love chicken, I think. Do we have any space in the back? Please, Greg. I'm full in the front, though. Please, Greg, be my lifesaver. Thai chicken salad, that's another one. I'm gonna name my favorite quick service at Epcot. Um, let's uh, call it Sam's, Sam the Eagle Barbecue. Is that quick service? It's quick mm -hmm. service. Awesome. Good. We got it! Okay. <laughs> okay, totally fine. Thank you. Cast member Greg is my lifesaver and allowed me to get on a friendship boat to Hollywood Studios. While we're here, we can talk about some of the perks that you do get at Swan and Dolphin, even though it is not a Disney resort. So we're on one of the biggest ones right now. These are the friendship boats. I feel like a loser. I feel like a loser, Melissa. Accurate. You nailed it. My seven-year-old is gonna be so sad that you beat her mom and her dad. You're guilting me with a seven-year-old who's probably taller than me. If you like this video, hey, you should like it. You should subscribe to All Ears Net and tell us in the comments where you think we ought to go next, right? Yes, and follow us on social at All Ears Net. And until next time, I'm Jared. I'm Melissa. And we'll see you real soon. Hey everybody, it's Molly. Thanks for tuning into this week's Disney World Ultimate Challenge. If you'd like to play along, we've got the boards for you. Just head over to allears.net slash scavenger dash hunt, sign up for a free newsletter, and those will come straight to your inbox. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. If you want more Ultimate Challenge right now though, click over here to watch the Summer of Chaos. And if you'd like more All Ears, click over here for a tour of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Thanks for watching.